When it comes to Western Red Cedar fencing, one of the biggest mistakes I see is contractors using cheap nails. I really do, and, and you can see those, and, and when they use cheap nails, galvies is, is what some folks call them. Um, they have very thin zinc coatings, and they develop iron stains relatively quickly, and stainless steel is what they should be using. Most of the cedar fencing that's produced is knotty, most of it is unseasoned or green, and most of it's rough on all sides. The volume of production of fencing is in this 5 h thick fence board, and a lot of that comes from Washington State. Other thicknesses are available. Some of those mills in Washington State do produce thicker boards. They do produce 11 16 or 3 quarters. When you're dealing with green material, uh, butting them tight edge to edge is probably okay because they're going to shrink a little as they dry. From my personal experience, I have a fence that was built out of S1, S2E, dry, knotty, and we didn't apply any stain and we weren't and didn't plan on it, but they were installed butted tight. And the largest gap that's developed is less than a sixteenth of an inch. So if you want a gap and you're dealing with dry, install it with the gap, the intended gap. If you're installing green boards, then you could you could butt them tight edge to edge and you'll get a little shrinkage in width, which would create a, a small gap, probably no more than an eighth. And you do want fence boards installed with some ground clearance. You don't want them installed with their feet in the ground because that's really gonna shorten the life of the fence board. If one were to install a fence and then come along at a later date and try and prime and paint it, the longer it's exposed to the weather as it dries, the more difficult it's going to be to get the primer and the paint or the primer and the solid stain to adhere because exposure to sunlight sunburns the surface cells of the wood and 12 weeks of sunlight exposure can cause enough sunlight damage to have the wood lose 50% of its ability to hold on to a film forming finish like primer and stain or primer and paint.